In this video, we will see the procedure of calibration, limit setting, and troubleshooting with comprehensive solutions of three-phase quarter turn electric actuator. Let's take a closer look at the actuator, 3PK1B integral starter unit, handwheel for manual operation, auto declutch lever, cable gland. Now we will see the detailed procedure. Read the instructions properly before start wiring, model, serial number, voltage, valve type, size, IP rating, ampere. To start the wiring, use an Allen key to gently unscrew and remove the actuator cover. Inside, you'll find the wiring diagram. Follow the wiring diagram for terminal connections. Insert the wires through the cable glands. Ensure the glands are tightened properly to maintain sealing and protection. Now, connect the wires to the terminal block as shown. Once the wiring is complete and verified, send open and close commands to check functionality. valve is not closed correctly. If the valve does not fully open or close, limit setting is required. Let's see how to perform the limit setting step by step. Pull the auto declutch lever and rotate the hand wheel counterclockwise until the valve is in the fully open position. Now set the open limit and secure it. Now rotate the hand wheel clockwise until the valve is in the fully closed position and set the close limit and secure it. Mount the position indicator back in place after completing both settings. After completing the limit setting, send open close commands to verify the actuator responds correctly to both. Mode switching. To switch between local and remote operating modes, follow these steps. To enable remote mode, press the stop and remote buttons together and hold for 3 seconds. The actuator is now ready to operate remotely. To switch to local mode, press the stop and local buttons again and hold for 3 seconds. Now you can operate the actuator using the local push buttons. Feedback wiring. For open feedback, connect the wire to terminal 8 and 9. For close feedback, connect the wire to terminal 8 and 10. These connections provide signal outputs for remote monitoring of valve position. For remote feedback, connect wires to terminal 11 and 12. For fault feedback, connect wires to terminal 13 and 14. Troubleshooting. If both the open and alarm that's two red LED turn on together, it means the actuator has exceeded the open torque limit. If you see green for open and red for alarm turn on together, it means the actuator has exceeded the closed torque limit. Solution. Use the hand wheel to manually override the actuator. Check whether the valve is moving freely. If it still doesn't operate correctly, please contact customer service for assistance. Power fault. Alarm LED is blinking continuously. First, check the incoming power supply. Make sure all three phase wires are connected properly. No wires should be loose, cut or missing anywhere. Once the power input issue is resolved, the fault will clear. This concludes our guide on calibration, limit settings and troubleshooting. For more information, technical documents or service assistance, contact Care Customer Service. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more upcoming technical videos like this.